Getting to Know series is all about joining inspirational figures within the mountain biking community for a fun day on the trail. Trying to chase the Olympic dream. I called the series Skills of Phil. Ladies, you can hop on a mountain bike and start shredding. This fun series was made possible thanks to the support of Jensen USA, a leading online retailer of mountain bikes, parts, and accessories. Any purchases from the below links at Jensen USA will also help support this channel. Morning, Brandon. Good morning. Brandon of the future. How are you, bud? <laughs> Good, how are you doing? Not bad. My next door neighbor, actually, Brandon Watts here, runs a magazine called Free Hub. And I'm really curious about what Brandon does, where Freehub came from, and I've heard of Freehub for a long time, so I figured what better way to get to know you better and your operation yeah. with a great little pedal close by home. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, Appreciate man. Chucking nuts. Yeah. I love this place. <laughs> this is about you, okay. Brandon. Okay. You're in front of the camera today. <laughs> Watch the eyes. Oh, oh yeah. thanks. Put together a few questions for Brandon here and uh, we found a comfy log. Let's see what the answers are. How did you end up making all the way to Bellingham and how did bikes fit into that story? Grew up in Michigan, uh, started riding bikes there. My good buddy that actually lives out here too, he sort of rekindled my love for bikes in high school because I used to race when I was um, in like sixth and seventh grade for XC. Racing cross like, country mountain bikes. Yep, yep, uh, part of Norba. Back then I was like 11, uh, 10, 10, 11 and 12 was like when I raced. We were just kind of like a XC racing family and Michigan had a lot of that. Are you gonna go over or around? I don't care, you tell me man, <laughs> probably over. Oh. You got that Logan? <laughs> Woo! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the low side. Decided I wanted to move out of the city after school. Um, did a cross country bike tour with my other good buddy. So I rode from Michigan to Seattle on our touring bikes. Yeah. Came up in over 20, fell in love with the North Cascades. That was my first time out here. So um, decided this was where I was gonna move was to Seattle. Went back to Michigan, packed up all my stuff, started driving out here, stopped in Montana to see another buddy, stayed there for two and a half years, which- <laughs> That was a long stop. <laughs> yeah, which is kind of an integral part because my buddy then, um, well, he's still a great friend, uh, he ran a mountain culture magazine there called Bomb Snow in Bozeman. So that was kind of my introduction to publishing, was to work for him doing design and writing. I just started to feel landlocked, so I wanted to continue my journey. <laughs> oh, I forgot how ridiculous this fender looks. <laughs> it's so nice though. Freehub started as a bi-monthly online e-zine, which it, there wasn't even a print edition of it. It was all community generated. So I would reach out to bike shops. I would reach out to um, riders, advocacy groups, so it was literally all written by the community. And then I would curate it into these bi-monthly online e-zines. Ew, it's all wet! 2010, decided I wanted to do uh, a print version. Tried to curate the best of the best content for an annual print magazine, and that came out spring of 2010. And uh, yeah, it was 200 and 24 pages, I think. It was thick. Yeah. And it I showed up at Ibis. I didn't know what it was. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was kind of inspired by like the old 26 book. I don't know if you remember that. It was like a bunch of photographers from uh, that put together like Ian Highlands was a part of it. There was a bunch of photographers that were a part of it. And it was um, called 26, I believe. And it was like a coffee table book esque style magazine. Oh. And that kind of inspired Free Hub. Oh! Yeah. Snotty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. That was fun. Yeah, bud. That was sweet. Yeah. There wasn't any journal style magazines out there, so I really wanted to fill the, the void for a high quality, nice, nicely printed, community oriented magazine. But it's always had that cultural uh, showcase. Oh, I don't want to pedal up this. Uh, this thing. Who's going to pedal up it? Going to try. Always got to try. 
If you're gonna try, I have to try. Oh, uh -oh. loose rock. No. Who put that rock there? It's always worth the try, you gotta do it. Oh. Evolved from that annual, and then it became biannual for two years, and then it was triannual, so we had three a year. And then we, you know, the end goal was to become quarterly, which okay. uh, we became quarterly, I think our, what is it, fourth or fifth year. Congratulations. So. How much of your like time and effort and resources go towards the print quarterly magazine versus the online content? The majority of it goes to print. We have a couple different um, styles of content. We have the film and the video stuff. We have the, the features and shorts that we do. And then we have guest appearances, which is more like, you know, stuff that you might be doing that we want to share that's cool and, and so on. So but the main goal is to push the, make the magazine as good as possible. Yep, exactly. Cool. I don't know, oh my gosh, this is slow. <laughs> Definitely rode that pretty slow. We should probably do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outside line's terrible. There we go. If you look at where mountain biking media used to be, you know, when you know, the 90s and early 2000s, it was very, bike yeah, was. yep. It was very race, <laughs> I like those guys. very product focused. And all the brands were the exact same way. Um, and then, the culture started to evolve out of racing and stories started to matter, I think, because the culture was starting to actually develop out of just racing. Yeah. It's more of a lifestyle now than, um, you know, or considered a lifestyle of hanging in the woods, you know, totally. going to shuttle if you want, or going to just do these epic pain cave style rides or bike packing. It's like, you know, it's very diverse now, and I think that um, it's in a cool spot because those stories are really driving a lot of it. One of the favorite parts of my job is traveling and being able to like integrate myself into these communities, even if it's just for a couple days, and be able to like talk to the Eric Browns of Revelstoke or wherever it might be, you know, and like really get to know the the movers and the shakers and some of these these um, mountain bike communities, what? and then just being able to sit down with them and have them tell their story is like by far the most inspiring part of it all, you know. And it's cool because it's happening everywhere now, I, you know. So I feel like here in Bellingham, our community is extra <laughs> strong, and yeah. you know it's. Yeah, we're fortunate to live here and uh, oh be surrounded by so many passionate people. We'll be here for a while. Let's go ride some trails. We've been sitting here for a few minutes and I'm shivering. Yeah, <laughs> I'm down, man. That's what we came to do. <laughs> June might seem like summer, but it's really just extended winter sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it, man. You can't do proper handshakes. No, with this COVID thing. no, definitely not. Yeah! Whoa. Keep going! A big thanks to Brandon for spending some time with us. It was great learning about his background and Freehub Magazine. If you want to learn more about Freehub, check out their website at freehubmag.com and consider subscribing to their YouTube channel. I think it's really cool that in a sport like mountain biking, we're privileged enough to have various multimedia sources, such as the cool stuff that Freehub does. Thanks to Brandon, thanks to Freehub, and I'm sorry that Brandon had to watch me just splatter myself in the ground. We're not gonna include that footage here, because this video is not about me, it's about Brandon and his story. Stack the content. Dude, Kendall Lee's gonna be stoked. <laughs> <laughs>